We're going to look at the Amprobe uh, Digital Multimeter DMM 37XR-A. Let's scan through the controls here. And we will stop at the inputs, talk about those for a minute. Then the other videos will cover a couple of different types of measurements. What we're seeing here are banana plug inputs. It requires two probes to measure something. So here I've got some resistors. I've got alligator clips. Please be careful in our labs to never connect directly to the object, so this wire on the resistor. Instead, connect to the ports that are available. At the other end of these are banana plugs. We could just use standard banana wires. We need to be very careful to plug these into the right places when we're making a measurement. If I want to measure voltage or resistance, there's volts or ohms for resistance, I'm going to plug the red plug into here and the black one into here, into COM. This yellow line right here traces out what I'm supposed to do. Black here, red here, if I'm going to measure either voltage or resistance. If I want to measure um, capacitance, which is up here. I, I drew it out over here because it's kind of hard to see that. That's the symbol for a capacitor. Yeah, high-tech movie, I know. So there's capacitance and there's inductance measured in Henry's and capacitance is measured in farads. This also measures milliamps and microamps. We're not going to measure those with this particular meter. We'll measure amps um, with a computer directly using Data Studio. If I wanted to measure Henry's or inductance, I'd plug in the red one here, and it's tracing over here, and I'd put the black one here. So we're always going to put the black probe here and under COM. And down here you'll notice that we can measure much higher amperage, up to 10 amps. Uh, that's fused, which is rather nice. And this one up here should be up to 400 milliamps fused. But again, we're not going to measure amperage. We're going to focus on inductance, capacitance, voltage and resistance.